Bro, Frederick coming at you with another video. I'm over here at the Westgate. This is where I parked and I'm on my way over to the NAB convention. I had the camera on the gimbal, so I figured you'd want to come along for the walk. Pro tip, there's a great place to park if you do indeed have a car when you're in town or you're going to the convention center. I'm also going to do a video of the Vegas loop in the Teslas so that should be fun I'll do that in glorious 4k I'll show you the back parking lot right now but let's get busy welcome back here we go Westgate to the convention center. Let me show you the Westgate real quick. It's still a beautiful property. It's old, 1969. But this is the uh, sports book. That's where I just was. It's not that bad a walk. Like I said, I had the camera anyway, so let's go hoofing. This is the back parking lot for the sports book. This is where all the locals park. I call it kind of like a D-Gen parking lot. <laughs> no offense against anyone who actually parks here because I'm one of them, but it's kind of D-Gen back here. It's kind of overcast today. About, let's see, it's about 1.30 and it's already 90 degrees in freaking April. Ugh. All right, let's cut through right here. Here we go. So I'm gonna time this walk. Actually, I'll walk all the way through. Why not go see a little bit of the NAB convention? That is the National Association of Broadcasters. A little windy too. You know, the planes coming in. I've been here all week. It's been absolutely amazing. There's another day tomorrow. Like I said, I'm going to go over and film the Vegas Loop. Unfortunately, I thought it was going to be automated, you know, the automated Teslas, but that has not been approved yet. Kind of sketchy back here. But like I said, this building's old, 1969. I also did a live stream from the Westgate yesterday, so you might want to check that out. Look below. Maybe I'll link it in the description if I remember. The place is always fun. Went on an explore, looked at, what did we look at? Benny Hanna's and the sushi spot over there. That's my badge you hear rattling around. I'm considering doing a live here from the NAB. I'm not quite sure. Not quite sure if you guys would be interested, but you should be interested because the technology that's coming out for video and broadcast and live streaming is absolutely freaking intense. This is the employee parking lot back here. But then again, also have the opening of the Palms tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Fireworks, gala, the whole bit. Got the VIP invite, but I'm gonna do the boots on the ground, show you what it's really like. Not sure if I'm gonna do a live stream quite yet. I might do that on Thursday, because I want everyone to appreciate the glorious 4K walkthrough. And yes, I walk fast. <laughs> I'll do this walk in five minutes. If you walk like a normal person, it'd probably be 10. There goes the wind. And the NFL draft is in town starting tomorrow too. So we're gonna be busy. Definitely get some live streaming in for that. Don't know from where. 
Probably from the Bellagio. But I also have a pass for that. But they're kind of strict about uh, live streaming and broadcasting, you know. I might take a couple thousand views away from them. So we'll see. We're going to walk through the convention. I'll show you what it's like if you've never been to a convention in Las Vegas. And then I'll head over to the Vegas Loop made by Tesla. And we'll go take a few rides. And you'll have to stay tuned for that. To see that in glorious 4K. And here we are. Got my badge at the ready. I was going to say good morning, but <laughs> I woke up late. She knows me from yesterday. So while I have your attention, I'm going to ask you to like, subscribe, and especially hit that bell button to get notified when I do this again, which is almost every freaking day. So you might as well hop on board with me. Should we do a little quick walkthrough? Eh, let's go on the other side. All right, let's do a quick walkthrough. I can't help myself. I gotta show you stuff. This is what NAB is like. And I'm gonna drop the 9% word of the day up in this corner. Not now, but at the end of the video. And that'll let me know that you did indeed stick around to the very end, because according to YouTube's own stats, 9% of all viewers do indeed stick around. And I'd love for you to be one of them. Uh-oh. Competing cameras. Kind of quiet today. Yesterday was freaking busy. Look at these amazing things. This is like geek heaven. We're just going to walk in this entrance and out the next. NAB used to be like one of the most exclusive shows to be able to get into. You know, you had to be in the business, but... <coughs> Excuse me. But ever since uh, the shutdown, the popularity on certain conventions has waned. And they've been letting a lot of other people in. You still got to kind of be in the business. Like me. Shout out YouTube. I used to have a radio show, so... Oh, this is cool. I used to have a radio show. So that's how I always used to get in here. Just geek freaking heaven. This is how you do... Uh, this show is all about uh, broadcast. Like I said, live streaming, cameras, lighting, technology, green screen, absolutely freaking amazing stuff. If you spend time in here, you'll find out, like look at this stuff. You'll find out how they do the graphics on football games and it's just absolutely amazing. What do we got over here? I didn't plan on walking through. But let's do it. Why not? It's like I said, I don't know if I'm going to get to do a live stream tomorrow and show all this to you. What are we looking at here? Oh, Panasonic. But it's absolutely immense this year. And that's why we're actually going to take the Vegas Loop, because I got to go over to the other convention center. It's actually being held in the center, the west, and the south convention centers. Living lives. Living lives. They had the cameras here that fly over the stadiums and get the top-down views. You think they're drones, but they're actually not. They're tethered remote cameras. Like 90% of this stuff is so transparent, the average person wouldn't even know that it exists. Damn, that guy's tall. It 
it's like behind the scenes. Alright, let's keep it moving. Like, check this out. If I have time, I want to get my video done over here. Dig this. and the vibe. And they're just great for the town too. There's no more thing over the face, but they are enforcing uh, either the jab or the triple quadruple jabs or uh, what do you call it? Negative testing. outside only six thousand dollars for that 12k camera that's actually a deal believe it or not that's nuts viking oh something says viking <laughs> look at that viking is appropriating the name of my peoples That'd be a good product. Give me one for free. What is it? Giant satellite? 5G antennas? All right. We should put some up in this town because the 5G blows in Las Vegas. Blows hard. Oh, I got the bus schedule. Let me show you. Over there is the... Uh, the loop. Let's see what this is. I want one. Solving the workflow puzzle. Alright, let's keep it moving. Eventually, the uh, tunnels are going to be all over Las Vegas. That's going to be pretty amazing. I'll show you. I think they still have the display of the uh, equipment that Elon Musk is doing. You think he's doing it with a shovel? No. He's got all sorts of sci-fi equipment boring tunnels right under our feet. But this is the only... Uh, this is the only leg that's open. The next leg that's going to open is over to the RW. So shout out RW for making that happen. And the RW, I'll give you an idea where it is. RW is right there. Bump. Right, let's see, right there. <laughs> that's better. So it's going to shoot over to the RW, bring everyone in here. And this is the actual terminal. I've never actually been in the West Hall yet. So this should be a little different. Let's go for a little walk. Bonus footage. Dude. I saw the amount. I thought they were going to lowball. That's insane. Bam. Quick and easy. Let's keep it moving. Wow, there's people still in there registering. Is it upstairs? Or is it down here? I don't even know. But we're going upstairs anyway. It's a working escalator. It's a miracle. This is a big ass building. Look at this. Hello. 
hello down there. Off in the distance, that's the Sphere. That's gonna be a pretty intense venue, hopefully done by the end of the year, we shall see. Look at that, that's incredible. That's a screen, look at that. All right, what's up here? <laughs> Other than us. But you know I have to explore. Goes even higher? Oh, well we gotta take the stairs, let's be. What's over here? Free coffee? <laughs> We might have to get some free coffee. What's up? What up with the free coffee? Oh yeah, they do have free coffee. No, they took them down. It's like only I drink coffee after one. All right, might as well go up these stairs too. Holy exercise. We gotta get our cardio on. All right. Forgive the Tic Tacs in my pocket. <laughs> Okay, that's enough cardio. We'll walk the rest of the way. That's, that, this giant freaking stairs. They don't want us up here. Whew. It's warm in here. Did they turn on some freaking AC? Hello, down there. All right. This is big. Look it up there real close. Like bolts and whatever. I guess that's for like hanging stuff. This is kind of neat. Oh, we get to see what's going on over here. Let's see. That's a little better view of the sphere. There go the wind core. There goes the high roller. They have escalators going down, score. Well, actually, if I went on that side, I wouldn't have to walk up those stairs. Look at these stairs, that's nuts. They expect people in America to do this? People in America are lazy AF. Huh. I can say that, because I'm one of them. Got some bathrooms over there. I'm out of breath. Oh, those stairs got me. Maybe it's the altitude. There's like a different altitude up here, less oxygen. Okay. Let's go back down. This is neat though. So I'm actually in the middle of doing video of the Tesla loop. I'm gonna take it a few times and give you a real feel for it. The underground tunnel with the Teslas. Except it's not automated and guys drive them and gals. And they're actually playing music inside. I don't know if that was a, a personal preference or they're all going to do it. I have no idea. But I have to uh, do some fancy footwork on them. Otherwise, we're going to get copyright spankage. Where are we going? I don't even know. But it should be fun. I'm like going with the crowd. Where's the crowd taking me? It's like peer pressure. 
What is, holy cow, this is freaking enormous. Does this go all the way? Yeah, I think this goes all the way back to the other convention center. Oh my goodness, I don't want to do that. These people walk, they were afraid to go in a tunnel. We ain't afraid. We're gonna go in the tunnel again. Let's go. Where he got his coffee from. I want to get one too. I drink about, hmm, I don't know, six cups a day, conservatively. But it's really my only vice, so why not? I just love it. I'm a connoisseur. All right, no stairs. We're not doing that again. See, if he wasn't there, I'd walk down. I don't even have the patience to queue up like this on an escalator. Oh, there's the show. <laughs> I might as well take you in there too. What the heck? Being that I'm probably not doing a live from the NAB because I'd rather do a live from the NFL and from the Palms Grand Opening. It's not the Grand Reopening because there's a new owner. So I'm going to call it the Grand Opening. All right, let's see what's what in here. So you might as well join me. <laughs> AWS, my buddies. Shout out, AWS. That's Amazon's cloud services. That's a badass antenna. Adder. Mosaic. This hall is definitely the, uh, you know, the upper end commercial. There's not much retail stuff in here. Like a lot of these companies you've probably never even heard of, but I have. I mean, Microsoft, of course, but tag video systems. Look at this. Is this sick or what? This is how sports and TV shows and everything else get broadcast. But it's all transparent. This is what I do behind the scenes when I do uh, live streams. Not the retail ones, but my commercial ones. Sometimes the ones from, uh, from my studio. I'm running them on software. I know. Yes. One day I'm Skyline Communications, end-to-end, multi-vendor, NMS services. Global leader in KVM, black box. Oh, Papa John's. <laughs> no way. That's a name I'm familiar with. People getting their eat on. It actually smells pretty good over here. Like, you know, radio stations. They use that level of equipment. Oh, coffee. Mmm. But like I said, the technology that's heading our way with this metaverse, I don't know what, how you feel about it. I'm not exactly thrilled about being turned into an avatar. But it's coming, and there's not a whole lot we can do about it. So we're all going to be avatars, and we're all going to live our lives in a virtual reality. Just like, uh, like WALL-E, and there's been a lot of shows that have been uh, kind of prepping people. But go research Metaverse. 
what it actually is, you'll find it a little shocking. I'm not completely thrilled about it, but it is what it is. You can't fight the wave. Nice hat. So you're going to wake up in the morning, have your coffee, slap on your headsets, lay down in your ergonomical chair, and go to work and have meetings with other avatars. And you're going to like share papers and, you know, like you touch the paper and it downloads it onto your side. No more clicking. You're basically going to exist in a virtual world and even work in a virtual world. And that's the, the thing that people is going to have a little bit of a hard time with because everyone thought technology would ultimately like make it so that we didn't have to go to work. <laughs> you know, that's what I want to know. So you're going to be an avatar and you still got to go to work. Sorry to tell you. Yeah, this is all like the high end commercial stuff. Low latency platforms for high speed video networking, enhanced IP security and advanced compression. Link in the description. <laughs> I like that they kind of segregated the very, very high end video application stuff back here. But this is the moving and the shaking that the average person does not get to see. AI is such a big thing right now. Yeah. Give us access to your kids. Let us teach them. Get them right on those computers. Look at uh, what we got here. Targeted advertising, video service. Analysis. That's how you're being served up ads on your Facebook feed. Technology like that. That's, you know, profiling you according to your preferences and serving you up very specific ads. That's how it happens. Deliver secure, monitor, and monetize premium TV experiences. Unified streaming. Yeah, I'm gonna stop and talk to a few of these people. Not that I'm in need right now, but I like to keep on uh, what's going on. Empowering the future of TV. Look at that. Targeted advertising. See this? Targeted. We know what Bob wants to see. We know what Bob will reach into his pocket for. See? Reimagine your content licensing. That way we can spank Bro Frederick. AT and T business. I gotta talk to them too. Oh, do I want an apple? Oh, I do want. I do. I'm gonna grab three of these. I never grab one, I never grab two. It's gotta be three. What are they? What do I get? I know they're chocolates of some sort. That's everything nowadays. S A A S SAS. Basically that means uh, software as a service, you know, subscription based. Oh, this must be important. It's a gathering. Control content delivery with the Vanish software. Let's okay, scope that out. So, yeah, this, what else is here? All these people want to talk to me because they see the camera, but I'm not really interested in talking with no one quite yet. Not on a camera level. Start your own internet TV network. They make it possible. I might have to freaking talk to these people. No way. All right, let's scan that QR code. Bam. 
stop my own TV station. Bro, our nation TV. Well, I don't know. I walk by the stand. I definitely didn't plan on doing this walkthrough, but it's kind of fun. Vloggers, YouTubers, oh, they, it's got my name written all over it. I'm going to ask them to scan my badge real quick. Do, 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 do. How you doing? Can you scan my badge real quick? I don't really have time to talk, but I'd love to receive some information. Good, thank you very much. Did you get one of uh, the brochures? I will grab a couple of those right now. Yeah, grab as much as you want. They're all the same? Okay, very good. And your card as well? Awesome, thank you very much. Appreciate you. Yeah, Broar Nation TV. The Broar Nation News Network. Back to you in the studio, Broar. Oh, coffee. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Oh, donuts. What is this? Maximum power. Now I'm excited. I want to open my own channel. I want to broadcast besides... Where are we? Besides YouTube. Is the world ready for me? I don't know. I mean, I had my own radio show for years here in Las Vegas on K-Dawn. But what the actual F? That's a FM antenna, no way. That's pretty badass. Shout out CRI. That's what's uh, irradiating you. Oh, we're having a big meeting over here. This guy, oh, this guy's like the, the Dalai Lama of this company. PSSI. They're, they're hanging on his every word. Well, what is he pontificating on? Oh, satellites. Maybe I should go listen to him. This guy's doing some mad vlogging. Oh, I dropped my chocolate. No way, let's pick it up. <laughs> Alright, who else is here? Bit Central. What is that? Oh, we play ski ball. They serve beer here too? No way. Oh, AVI West. I gotta see AVI West. I might have to shut down the camera for a second. I gotta go see my homies at AVI West. I didn't know they were here. All right, let's eat this chocolate. Let's see what NAB chocolate tastes like. Does it taste like radio waves? Does it taste like artificial intelligence? Let me see. Tastes like aluminum foil right now. I can't get it out. Oh, it tastes pretty good. I guess they know. Bit central. We empower visual storytellers to captivate their audience. That's got me written all over. I think I'm captivating AF. The switch, always on, always there. Oh, that's good chocolate. What's going on? Oh, yeah. AWS got the, look at them. AWS, Amazon, they're rocking the two-story jam. Look at everyone gathering around. AWS is just a bomb. Got my AWS remote workspace. <laughs> I could actually do like remote editing from anywhere on the planet thanks to AWS. So shout out AWS. And shout out all my buddies who are in partnership with AWS. All right, I gotta eat another one of these chocolates. I'm starving. Okay, now look at this thing. Blah, R2D2. Auto acquiring antenna technologies. What's it acquiring? 
that's probably sending a freaking beam right through my soul. I don't want to stand in its way. Alright, what else? Evergent is over there. I know a lot of these people. Everyone's watching me unwrap this chocolate with my tongue. <laughs> is that professional? Oh, it's cold. Oh, I think I can score some coffee over there. Want to go score some coffee with me? Let's let's put this freaking. Look, I'm having a hard time with this. Hold everything. Let's look down here. I, I feel like I have to hide <laughs> as I like rip this freaking piece of. I'm determined. Most people would have thrown this out, but I am not a quitter. I am not a quitter. We're having this chocolate. Wait. <laughs> ah, got it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What are we about to do? Oh, I'll be nice. <laughs> oh, look, dude. You see that swag? They were giving away like diaries. Like, dear diary. I was at the NAB show today. Where do we want to go? Oh, we want to go to the place that had coffee. <laughs> wow, that's neat. This looks like too much work. Oh, that's neat. Oh, little espresso activities. All right, I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna score one of these. I think. No, maybe I won't. Looks like too much work. We gotta find a path of least resistance for our coffee. Digital Nirvana. That's why I should call my channel. Bro, Frederick's Digital Nirvana. Look at everyone in here. Everyone chilling out there. Chilling like Bob Dylan. This guy's making all sorts of presentations. I got to use an Amazon snowball. I wonder how many people in the audience know what the heck that is. I haven't used a snow cone yet, but definitely used a uh, snowball. Hmm. Excuse me. Oh, no one's gonna take that last cookie. Media kind. Look, look at this technology. Like, you're just sitting there, you know, watching your stuff. Du -du 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 -du. You don't even realize this is taking place behind you. This is cool. This reminds me of, like, uh, my train tracks when I was a kid. All right, which way should we go? I think we're going to boogie on out of here. Cause this was kind of a bonus segment and it turned into a freaking hour. But I love you guys, so we're doing it. So I'm going to head back out. Where are we going now? We're going to go back out to the loop. And we're going to loop around a few more times on the Tesla Vegas Loop Tunnel System. And hopefully my next couple of drivers do not have the copyright music blaring away. That way you can get the full experience and I can narrate. But if not, I'll, I'll dump some nice music in there instead of his. From my other channel, Soulful Soundscapes. Link in the description. Oh yeah, this is what we were looking at. That's where we was. We was all the way up yonder. I'm using my big gimbal today. That's why it feels like we're flying a drone. I love this gimbal. I looked at gimbals um, while I was here too, and nothing really, uh, nothing really, nothing really struck me. To be perfectly honest. 
I saw a Zion that I might get. And there's also like tomorrow's the end of the show at two o'clock. So a lot of these people on the retail side, they'll be looking at dump. I wouldn't say dump, but not repack some of their merchandise. So it might be available to make some purchases very, very, very cheap, like at their cost, if you wait until the last minute. So I might score some equipment for the channel tomorrow. We shall see. Uber pickup out the door to the right. Exhibit hall around to the right. Tesla loop outside to the right. <laughs> You're not allowed to walk in the same direction anymore. <sighs> the world is coming to an end. So I gotta walk to get to the place so I don't have to walk. That makes sense. Because right. the thing is in the air and it knows what direction you're walking. It's smart like that. Look how close we are to the wind core. And I am, like I said, gonna do a food review of the bagel joint. See how authentic it is. Because I've eaten in the most authentic kosher places and bagel joints in New York. So I want to see what they've got going on. They don't have that boring tunnel. This crossing guard yelled at me before. No, the other one. He's like, hey, aren't you paying attention? I put, basically put this sign in your face. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you did. That's why I freaking ignored you. Oh, he's not here. I think he got fired. So come out of the All right, here we go. Back to the loop. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go, we're here, west. We came from the north, but we're gonna book over to the south. That way we got the absolute longest experience. And then I gotta turn around and go back to the west, I think. But check it out. Let's watch it. Let's watch the activities. The Tesla's going on the ground. Look how much clearance it is. Let me see if I can catch it from this side. No, you can't see it. You can actually see the, well, you're actually gonna have to watch the video that's coming up next, which will be riding the, the Vegas Loop Tesla Tunnel. So this is just a little bonus content. So, hope you all enjoyed it, and back to your regularly scheduled program. And on that note, Bro Frederick out. <laughs>